Sega. Welcome to my stream. I'm Jackie. Eh, for those who don't know, with the Retro Achievements Challenge League, it's like a little, a little, a little uh, contest where we move along a map and play and beat certain games. It's from Retro Achievements, but we don't actually have to get any achievements in these games. We just have to beat them. And the the next game on my list is a game of starring a pirate. And um, there were surprisingly little, few games to choose from. Nobody, like Skull Jaggers, I was hoping I could play that, but that wasn't even, that's not even in their database. That's how obscure that game is. But, uh, but, uh, I, I, I decided to go with this. Um, I tested a little of it. Oops, I should probably unpause the emulator. Yeah, there we go. I tested a little of this, and it seems playable enough, so. Um, Pirates of Dark Water. God, that the whole era where they put fucking Arrow in the fucking logo, like that was going to be their big mascot. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but no, just no. <laughs> I did not. Uh, our story begins within watery land of Mare, where the kingdom of Octopon has been ravaged by dark water. The source of the dark water is unknown. I've I've never seen this cartoon, by the way. Uh, only one thing is certain: it has slowly taken over the whole world. But uh, so I don't know much about the story. The only hope lies in one young man named Ren. To a chance encounter with his dying father, the long-lost King Primus. Ren learns of the fabled six treasures of rule and a magical compass that will lead him to them. Welcome in, Ultra Squid. Was this cartoon okay? I don't know. Thinking his father is dead, Ren journeys onward to one of the most southerly locations, known as Jonda Town. Jonda Town is one of the main ports within Mare where the pirates and thieves are always rife. Like, when I caught this show, parts of this show, th the animation seemed bad, honestly. <laughs> While exploring the town for worthy shipmates, Rin comes across a monkey bird named Nidler. On hearing on of Rin's quest, Nidler decides to join him, for he has a... Together they scour the town, when by, by chance they meet up with a beautiful warrior from... A her name is Tula, and she is of a dying breed, the Echo Mancers. Man, this is... When Rin learns this, he asks her to join him on his quest for the Treasures of Rule. Rin, Tula, and Nidler find their way to the Jetty area where they meet an ex-pirate named e Eoz brags that he owns the fastest ship in the harbor, the Wraith. If he can join Rin and his fellow shipmates, he will gladly lead them to the Wraith. Look at that dude. Unbeknown to Rin, Tula, and Nidler, Eoz does not own the Wraith. Okay, <laughs> together they board the stolen ship and sail out of reach of the harbor. With only the memories of his father, Rin begins his adventure into the unknown. Everybody get this, by the way. So begins. The Pirates of Dark Water. Apparently there's a the in the title, but I'm not going to fix that. Okay. All right. All right. This was an attempt at something. Like like I said, like I'm sh maybe the story was okay, maybe the characters were neat, maybe everything was neat, but I just kind of watched it and I was like, wow, this animation is so lumpy. I can't get past this. So I d I didn't watch much of it, unfortunately. Hanna-Barbera had that whole period where they were like trying to animate their their cartoons like super well uh compared to their old old cheap stuff and like it just looked worse <laughs> like when i say lumpy what i mean is uh lumpy animation is when you move from keyframe to keyframe in a very in a very uh smooth and progressive way um very slowly from from key, from like from like in between to in between it's almost like it morphs from keyframe to keyframe and 
and uh, you'd think that would be good, but no, it doesn't morph in any natural way. It just kind of morphs from one shape to the other. Um, we, we didn't quite get it yet that we want kind of snappier moves between the keyframes. This one, this one just kind of... Whip, characters just kind of wobbled all over the place. I don't know. That's all I know about the show. I, I didn't like the way it looked, so I didn't watch it. <laughs> if, it if there are Pirates fans in here, I'm sorry. Maybe I'll enjoy this game. I mean, it's it's made by Iguana Entertainment, so probably not. But maybe I will. Maybe it'll surprise me. <laughs> um. Okay. Let Let's get started. When I tested this game, one thing that struck me right away, right away. Is, is that we get big text dumps in this plat action platformer? <laughs> let's 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 take it. Let's take a look at this. Uh, you listen to Niddler. Squawk. Niddler's the name, and I've sailed the seas with many pirates. I could tell you a thing or two about this land of mare, but first you must help me. The jungles of Pandwa was my home. Maybe you heard of it. It's where we monkey birds came from. Now it is an island of slavery. Pirate hunters sail from the far reaches of Mare in hopes of capturing a monkey bird in the jungle. I, I don't know how he sounded in the show. Okay. Uh, we get to choose a hero. This is the main character. The main character, Rin. Age 17. Height 5 foot 7. Little guy. Weight 155 pounds. Address. Island of Octopon. It's not a very specific address, but... Oh, phrase. Always the quest. I, I'm always saying that. Honor likes honor, truth, friends of the quest. His sword. Okay, I guess the quest is some something in the show. It's not... Always the quest was not just some weird thing to say. It's like, the quest is something. Okay. Uh, bl dislikes... <laughs> oh, did I get him right? He looked like a Meowth, I don't know. I did my bad Meowth kind of voice. Uh, dislikes Bloth and his men, thieves, and injustice. Well, this is a very... Mm, truly a very heroic guy. Uh, then we got Tula. She's 18. A little older. Height, 5 foot 4. Weight, 110 pounds. Address, Andress. That, that's her address. Phrase, let's not fight. She's a pacifist, I guess. Likes well-planned strategies and Rin's sense of purpose. Dislikes the decay of Andrus and Eoz's chauvinism. Ah, so they, so it's it's that kind of relationship. There's there's just the big the big bulky guy who hates women and that's funny. Uh, and she and she's like, oh please around him, and being like feminist and and like, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> hello Solomon. Welcome back, uh, Eoz. Age 30. Yeah, he's an old man. What's he doing in this show? Height, 6 foot 4. Weight, 230 pounds. So I, I'm guessing this is the bulky tank of the group. Address, Isle of Tehaj. Phrase, uh, Noijitat? Sorry, sorry about that. Pronunciation, I, I, I don't know, it's probably way off. Likes gold... Tra is that like an actual language, or is it something made up for the show? I, I, I honestly don't know. Um, likes gold treasure dragon bow. He likes dragon bow. A good sword fight. <laughs> dislikes... <laughs> dislikes independent women. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's an incel, and he's on our side. That's cool. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and Bloth. What? I hate Bloth too. Fucking Bloth. <laughs> no, no, A.G. Tot. Okay, it's a fake swear. Okay, so it's it's like Smeg. All right. So this guy's the rough, the rough and gruff guy who swears all the time. He's like Joy D. Tot. Hey, you Joy D. Tot. Fuck you. And then and then like that. All right, we're gonna play as Tula, of course. All right. So when when testing this, yeah, we we get another text dump right after the first text dump. 
Eek! Help us, please! A gang of pirate hunters came through here led by a pirate named Kong. They took all our children and the monkey bird queen. They are heading to the slave market within the port. Who knows what will happen to them there? Will we ever see our children again and what about our queen? Maybe you could help us? Alright, let's help them. So yeah, it's a, it seems like a pretty standard action platformer from the 90s. You move around in this, uh, in this, uh, big old area, got a sword attack. It is very, you, you've seen, an, I've demonstrated already by complete, on, on, completely on purpose and not on accident, that, uh, the game is fairly generous in that you don't die when you fall down a pit. Um, it does the Zelda thing. So that's that. There's that. Maybe this game won't be too hard. We'll see. If it is too hard, I'm just stuck with it. There's no difficulty selection. I don't think Iguana Entertainment believed in difficulty selection. I don't think Arrow had one either. Yeah. Let's not fight. She's saying this every time she swings her sword. Oh. I wonder if this game has any secrets and stuff in it. Block two. I got these. Sp I'm picking up the special move. I wonder. I guess the C button sets it off. Whoop! Gotta watch out for them rocks. So because falling down a pit doesn't kill you, I'm just going to go ahead and assume there's no insta-death in this game at all. I'm sure I won't be horribly surprised later on. This is going to be no sweat. I actually don't know what the difference is between the characters. I'm just going to assume big guy, slow and strong, girl, fast and weak, guy, regular guy, he's Mario. That That is, that is I am assuming, the difference between the characters. Expect me to do that with your, with your trap, did ya? Uh, hmm. Where do I go? Is there? Can you look around? No. Okay. All right. I got the first big puzzle of the game. <laughs> this is this flying jump? Yay! Where am I? Which way do I go now? Which direction? That just puts me back down here. Uh, okay. I'll just jump straight up. Okay. Is there a mechanic I'm not getting here? 
Can I climb? No? I feel like uh, going up there is what I need, right? But how do I do that? Do I need to look in the, at the instruction book for this game? Let's see. Oh. Pa big old pause screen with an inventory and everything. Call Niddler. I'm assuming that's like exit the stage. Uh, Ecomancer Energy. And I got five of those little rocks. Okay, I figured that's what this special attack did. Okay, um, just go this way? No, it's just a, it's a box. Whoa, I did like a little spin there. I wonder if I have to do something like that. Hmm. This is a very arrow-like move. Doesn't seem to be making me jump higher. Doesn't seem to be an attack. Whoa! damage. Are you kidding me, dude? Well. Gotta look out for that, I guess. Can I jump up there? Yeah, okay. That's right, okay. I, I knew that. You hold up and you can get up platforms. some health. Can I have some health? Thank you. Whoa, he blocked it. I'm a tough guy. Jump, jump doesn't control as well as I, as I would like. I can't think of an actual reason to do that spin jump. sword. That's what I would do if I had a sword. I would just wave it at everybody. decided not to let me climb that time. That's an unfortunate thing to be dis inconsistent on. Oh, well. Yeah, I gotta get used to this jump. It's, it's hard to describe why it's a little difficult.
I believe I landed on that platform. <laughs> what? <laughs> cool. Okay. I seem to have lost a life. Because they just... <laughs> apparently they can just stun you. <laughs> No problem, I'm sure I have unlimited continues in this game from the 90s. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. It's cool how everything respawns, too. I love that. <laughs> mm. Like, I am, I am like, barely holding right, and she just whooshes over there. Okay. I, mmm. Okay, okay, she actually landed on it. All right, I'm, I'm going to just pass up that the stuff up there. Probably not worth it. Man. So many dudes. <laughs> what the hell do I do when they decide to do this? They just get, like, five free hits on me whenever they do that. I got a thing. Just kind of... Enemy AI that just kind of stands in your hitbox and doesn't move. That's my favorite kind of enemy AI. Oh, cool, I got... Uh. All right. If this game turns out to be, like, unplayable, and I don't want to play it anymore, I do have a backup game. Okay, does he- is he not gonna spawn? Oh wait, it's- it's up there. Okay, alright. Your new level password is... Ibdia. Alright, if that's passwords, it prob probably means I can continue forever. Port of Pandawa. Sit at oh, I can... I can choose. Alright, let's see the Citadel. Not the Citadel. Everyone knows it's haunted by ghosts of dead pirates. Treasure seekers who enter the Citadel roam through the misty halls in search of the magical compass. Storytellers say that the compass once belonged to King Primus. It is said when the compass is wielded, the Bridge of Half-Sword will appear. What that means, I don't know. Alright. What I do know is that most who enter the Citadel are turned into zombies and the ones who escape go insane. Eek! So it sounds like... Oh, this is an actual stage. I assumed... I assumed uh, this would be like a city that I could talk to people in, but no. It's a bad citadel. Do those rats hurt me? I'm gonna assume they do. Ooh! 
I am the specter of the Citadel. You may enter the Citadel freely, but beware. If you fail in your quest to find the magical compass, you will be turned into one of the Walking Dead. Remember, you must not fail or you'll never leave the Citadel. If you do collect the compass, I will... I'm sorry, I'm forbidden to tell you. I will be watching you on your quest. Okay. Nice, dude. Okay, I'm sure those spikes don't kill me in one hit. Why would they? Oh, they actually don't. Alright, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. That's good, because jumping is terrible. Oh, is that a switch? Does this open the door? No. Oh. Man, it's hard to tell where... <laughs> it's hard to tell where, like, stage exits are. I have key. Okay, I guess I should actually use these power-ups I'm getting because I don't get them back after completing a stage. health and I get nothing but power-ups. Perishable power-ups, too. I love it when they surround the, the like, health items with enemies that take away more health than you, get, than you got back, you know? Alright. Alright. They can just walk right into you, huh? Alright, I need... I need key. I need two key. It's fine. I've got one key. Is that all I need? Because it seemed like there were two doors. Okay. Guess we gotta do this. Alright, two key. Can't help but notice that the enemies had drops in the first stage, and, and now they don't. I guess it kind of makes sense. Where would skeletons keep their thing, right? Hello, bug brain. Welcome. This game is about about as good as I would expect it to be so far. Can I go back? Okay. Whoa! Okay, for a second I thought the lightning hit me. Just bats are kind of hard to see against the dark background, that's all. These guys walk right into your hitbox and stay there. I... 
That's great. They're attacking... They're attacking my ghost? Alright. Uh, let's try the Port of Pandawa. The Port of Pandawa. Now that is a place I never want to see again. When the monkey birds are captured within the jungle, they're taken to the port. Once they are sold off as slaves... That's how I got off the island. Last... I... Heard there was a monkey bird queen that was taken there. If you free the queen, I'm sure that she will reward you in some way. All right. No. They tried to switch me back to him. I refuse. I beg you, Para. With five gold coins, and I'll help you in an report. Um. I got a gold coin in previous stages, but I guess I just dump all my treasure into the garbage after I complete a stage. Or maybe when I continue, I do that. One gold coin. Two. And a key. <clears throat> That's right. You can only fall a certain distance in this game. Because, you know, everyone loves 2D platformers with that mechanic. Um... Is that it? Do I have to... Do I have to find gold coins elsewhere? I can't leave. So there must be somewhere else to go. Do I just jump? <laughs> mm hmm. There doesn't seem to be anything else around. Oh, wait, I can exit the stage, can't I? Yeah. Look at all this stuff I got. Guess I'll eat some food. Okay. Oh, my aching stomach needs some food. I haven't eaten for hours, so there's no way I could lift you up right now. But if you find me ten Minga Melons to give me some energy, I could come back and try again. Uh, okay. You, you, you have to pay currency to back out of a stage. I, I'm trying to grab onto that ladder. I, I'm... Okay. So, uh... Do I have to select the key? Doesn't seem to... Doesn't seem to work on this door. I apparently have five gold coins. Okay. Thank you, my friend. Five gold coins is a very generous gift. In return, I must warn you, Conk entered the port with the monkey bird queen. She was carrying something of great value. See the door over there? Let's go. Gravity potion.
Okay, if I'm ever needing gravity, I'll keep this in mind. Okay. Oof. Okay. Uh, oh, I don't like this. All right. Uh, I'm not sure why she didn't grab onto the ladder. Do I have to press up? I do. All right. I have learned something. Dead. Whoa. Are these random? They're random, aren't they? Cool. Let's just... Okay. Uh, probably have to go that way. All right. The door is locked and I have the key. Haha. <laughs> what? You don't have ten gold coins? Be gone, you pirate scum. All right. Fine. I'll go this way. Look what they tried to do. Look at that. All right. I have four gold coins and two things. Whoop. Where do I find coins? Ah! They did not let me move. I think there's a period after you jump where you cannot move or something. That guy has got to stop trying to catch me in his net. I do not like that. I'm not a fan. Yay! <laughs> Tight jumping controls. Whoa! I don't know why she did that. Alright. Seven. Oh my god, why do they keep doing that? <laughs> Fuck you, dude.
Ugh. Oh, for Christ's sake. Goodbye. They, they don't really warn you before they're going to move back the other direction in any way. Yeah, okay, that's probably enough, right? Yeah. All right. Ah, my friend, I will gladly open the doorway for a sum of ten gold coins. Thank you, this door is now open. It's always a privilege doing business with you. I could have just cut his head off. <laughs> Psst. We are two monkey birds in disguise. We snuck into this port to save our children. While we were exploring, we found the room where the queen is being kept. It is at the end of the port, behind a locked door. Free our five children, and we will meet you at the end of the port and open the door. Go now! Quickly! Okay, cool. Little bugs. Little buggies. Oh. All right. Guess it's got to go find a key in that pot or something. Or yo, oh, I see. I see. Okay. That seemed unnecessary, but it's fine. Uh. Let's add another gravity potion. Let's try using one, now that I have one to spare. Um, it, it seems to be an invincibility potion, not a gravity potion. I, uh, need to let the developers know they made, they made a mistake here. My jump is exactly the same. Yeah. Oh, am I supposed to be doing those, doing that? Do I need to find them all? Excuse me. <laughs> Look at how long that goes on. Alright. Didn't mean to actually set this off, but that's fine. Okay. 
Okay. Oh. I wonder if this is an ability only she has. I'm not sure how exactly I'm supposed to make this jump and not fall off. Oh, I might figure out a way. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh! I learned new tech! You can- you can attack while on ladders! New tech learned, new tech learned. Squawk, we meet again. Oh, for God's sake, five of them. Five of them. Where, where, where are the others? I, they could be anywhere. Okay, I've, re I've rescued two of them so far. Kick that bug in the face. Oh, I missed you. Sorry, sorry, kid. I, I wasn't paying attention. Anything up here? Yes, there is. Aren't you going to throw a net at me? What? It is selected. Why didn't you... Hmm. There we go. Oh! Okay, more gravity. Hey! It protect the net protects me from fall damage. How nice! <laughs> That's like speedrunner technique right there. In case in case anyone in case any speedrunners are watching. I found a way to get down down quicker. Yeah. Will you please? All right. That's four, right? <laughs> That's not a ledge. Oh, so, some some things are background objects and some things are ledges. And sometimes it's not easy to tell which is which. Okay, that's not a ledge either. <laughs> Can I not get across? I guess I can't get across. All right. Huh. 
<laughs> That's too far, huh? <sighs> I guess I have to go this way. Do any of these have a kid in them? Okay. I'm glad those all decided to spawn again. That was pretty cool. Come on. Can I... Hmm. There we go. What? Is there nothing up there but a chicken leg? I wonder if I'm right about only rescuing four of them and I didn't get a fifth one and miscount. Because... I guess it doesn't matter, I gotta start over. Alright, this time I know to look for little guys. You may notice there's there's no counter whatsoever. For the little guys I have to rescue. Shouldn't take me too long to get back now that I kind of know what to do. Can I get up here? No? Okay. I got a key in the earlier part, but I guess it's not the right key. I seem to have fallen over and died. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Don't know how I avoided all that. Ooh, a meat that fills all my health. I'd like to see it. Yeah, I die a little every time I get on one of those. Alright, I have learned my lesson. I must explore the levels. Yeah, he thought he could do it, but he was denied. I needed how many coins? I think it was ten. Alright, now I gotta rescue five little guys. Alright. I think I want to go down there eventually. Let's see what's up here first. Nothing. Okay. Alright, nothing. Nothing over here at all. No reason to go here. That's one little guy. I believe maybe I had all five. I don't know, because I went all over. I, I looked all over the stage last time. But yeah, a as you may recall, there's no counter for these little guys, so it's hard to be sure how many you have. All right. What is this potion exactly? Stone Elixir. Alright. Ugh. Have 
having seven heart attacks every time I stand one of those. Oh! Saved. Oh no, this is the other guy. The, little, the, the uh, first one I found. Okay. So that's two. And I think I know where the other three are, so... I bet I can kill those pots, can't I? Nope, I can't. Okay, cool. Those other pots seemed, uh... hard to avoid. I don't think there's anyone up here. As I recall, there was not. So I kind of wonder, in the stages where you don't need, like, to find money for someone, you still get coins, and I'm not sure what the purpose of them, the coins there is. That's, uh, three. Who did I miss? Okay, maybe that one thing I thought had nothing there actually had something there. That's why I get for remembering things wrong. Or remembering things at all. You should never remember anything, honestly. Oh wait, I was supposed to go up here. Or, or not. Is there a way up there? I don't know. Wait, this guy, that's right. Walk right by him. You're just going to camp out there and block all my moves. Dang. Where is the last one? <laughs> Maybe 
Maybe I have five, and I lost count again. Because I looked all over the stage, didn't I? Didn't I? I am pretty sure I did. Okay, okay, I did miscount. <laughs> Again. Well, we didn't think you had it in you. All you have to do is sneak into Conk's room and free our queen. Just one moment and the lock will be picked. There, it is done. Good luck. <laughs> Who are you? To, what do you want? So, you are looking for a treasure of rule, eh? Well, you won't find one here. Just the monkey bird queen who I'm protecting for my master. Ah, uh, finger slipped. So you won't surrender, eh? Gulp, before we fight, I promise you that Bloth will hear a uh, finger slip. This is a cool fight. Kick him in the face. Can I just... Okay, it doesn't hurt him, but it does make me invincible. Oh, thank you. You have saved all my children and freed us all from the clutches of the slave traders. However, can I pay you? All I have is a small tr- uh, whoops. I pressed star on accident again. Why does that keep happening? Your new level password is Rita Zim. Alright. These levels are kind of long. I'm, I'm noticing they're kind of long. Alright, nowhere to go but the Citadel. I didn't have good luck in the Citadel the first time. But I'm a little better at the game now. I've learned. I've gotten better. I've I've grown as a person. It does look like I get to keep my items between stages. That's neat. I keep my health upgrades too, for that matter. Alright. Whatever was in that treasure, it's gone now. the way forward. But the game wants me to explore. Alright. Well, that was worth it, actually. Not sure how I got all my life back, but I'm fine with that. Just 
run through. I'm getting the gist of the strategy of this game. She did, after all, say, let's not fight. That's her catchphrase. So, we're not gonna fight. Well, okay, I'll fight this time. They are blocking treasure I need. Boop, boop. Excuse me, fellas. Boop. Excuse me, pardon me. <laughs> you attacked me while I was stuck in a door opening animation. What's over here? I keep forgetting about the spinny thing she can do. Seems like it might actually be a pretty good move and I should stop ignoring it. Speedrun tech. Let's go. Whoops. I fell. Whoop, I fell. Again. Okay, maybe I shouldn't spin all the time. Only when it's safe to spin. Uh, it's down, right? Yeah. Music change. Thank you. 
I'm not crazy about all the stuff I'm collecting, you know, because, like, I lose it all when I game over. And I'm starting to get the feeling that the later stages probably assume you still have all the stuff you collected. So there's going to be a point where, like, gaming over just means you got no chance. But I, we'll see. We'll see if I'm correct about that. I might be, I might be, uh, just assuming the worst here. Skeletons do have meat. Couldn't get them to drop it before. I knew those weren't platforms, and yet I tried to jump on them anyway. Okay, not sure what the point of that was. Just give me a key and then put the door right next to it. <laughs> oh, there's another door. Okay, that's the point of it. Well, um, okay. I wonder how far back I have to go to get another key. <laughs> This is going to be fun, finding out. Let's see, I haven't gone right. last meat, but I've got hearts, too. I'm assuming I can eat those hearts. Looks like I'm still backtracking. I'm not sure a place where I haven't been at this point. Oh, there's some treasures here. No key. beginning of the stage. I think it is.
Yeah, it is. There was a zombie there that time instead of nothing. So how did I miss those chests? Did I just... I guess I just walked by them. <laughs> Didn't feel like fighting the skeletons for them. So what did I... Where, where's the key? Feels like I've been everywhere. Uh, hey, why'd you put me back down there? What? Well, uh, I'm trying to rush. Apparently, if you rush in this game, you die a bunch. Y'all, isn't it cool how, like, I made it toward the end of the stage and, uh, I needed a key, and then I walked back through the entire stage and I didn't find the key, and now I get to go back to the stage again. I just, I just thought that was neat. I thought mentioned that. That was pretty neat. Let's see what the heart does. Whoops, I accidentally used two. That's fine. I'm gonna game over anyway. We all know it. We can all see it coming. Alright, I've been that way, definitely. Not a key. Not a key, but I'm in less danger of gaming over, so there's that. Oh. Stuff. Okay. Hello. Oh. Key. And another one up. Okay, cool. Cool. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, the rat jumped at me. Didn't know they could do that. Okay, that's kind of neat. If you uh, already have like all the health pick, uh, the health enhancements, um, and you get a new one, it becomes a consumable item that you can use after you die and lose your health enhancements. That's actually kind of neat. I like that. 
I would prefer, you know, if you just didn't lose your health enhancements at all, but that's probably the next best thing. I'm surprised to see you again. You have ten gold coins. I must open this door for you. Beyond the door is the magical compass. I should not say this, but good luck. You can say it if you want to. What? You afraid someone's watching you? You are afraid your fangirls will be like, that's not death. Wishing someone luck. How uncouth. At last I am saved. I too was a pirate when I entered this citadel many years ago. The whole place was empty until I met in the- uh, oops, I pressed start. Now that you have found the- oh no, I pressed start again. Oh, a cutscene. Your new level password is Jessica. All right, I got the compass. I can go... We're going to Bobo Mountain. Oh. I kind of like this world map with all the characters kind of like looking at it being like, Hey, it's us. I guess the good guys are on the right and the bad guys are on the left. Those look like pretty bad guys. That guy in the bottom left looks like he ate like a gigantic lemon. Oh no, the compass points towards the- oh no, I pressed start. Alright. Oh my. Let's just get through this stage, shall we? Hmm? I'm not logged into Retro Achievements? Okay, well I know my password, it's Jessica. Thank you for the heads up. <laughs> eh, whatever. I just need to beat the game achievement. <laughs> I should, um, hold on a second. I can just set this to automatically log me when I... Yeah. I don't know why that's not turned on. Let's see. If they need proof that I got through the game, we got a video. Bobo Mountain. Anyway. I'm, I'm assuming they did not save my items, but that's fine. It probably should have occurred to me that I was not hearing any achievement sounds going on that whole time. But you know, I was too engrossed in this in this game. This very uh, socially aware game going on here. Oh, before I forget, there is an old vet. All right, let's. All right, I'm going to continue to not fight. So in the cartoon, did they have racist enemies, or...? <laughs> Is 
Is this an invention in the video game? Okay, I can just keep going. I can keep running and they'll jump over me. Sometimes. Shield magic. Let's try it out. Okay, it's pretty much the same as gravity magic. It's it's exactly the same as gravity magic in every conceivable way, actually. And you lose it when you go through a screen. That's cool. I didn't want to keep it that bad anyway. Can I jump on that? I can, and it... Ooh, okay. Alright, good to know. jump in time. Oh, okay. There's boiling cauldrons around. Are these supposed to be like cannibals or something? They're the guys from Jungle Hunt, that's what they are. <laughs> it's so hard to do. Oh, and I have to do it. Okay. Try this one. Uh. Oh, okay. It stones your enemies. Obviously. That was the clear effect of it. I forgot about my spin move. I should probably be doing that. I could probably spin through these guys. Um. Ah, what? Screen faded out. I'm not sure what happened. Oh, I'm on a hang glider now. 
just like our good sweet friend Ator. I have no control. This is a cutscene. Oh. I was hoping we could have a hang glider stage. That was denied. Oh. <laughs> he was standing still. I thought he was an NPC, but no, of course, he's a native, so he's evil. On that block, I can do the get up or something. Turns out there is. I'm not using these either. I probably should. Okay, I'm not sure why I stopped there. Alright, we're back here. Oh, it's a trap. Whoa, they can just stand up and walk through that. That's cool. That makes so much sense. Okay, I probably need these coins, I imagine. I imagine. Whoop. Whoop. I assumed I could just get back down that way, but there was a pit there. Can't believe that bug hit me.
So far, this game's better than Arrow the Acrobat. Uh, I probably want that, huh? It's probably a one-up or something. Well, I'll take that. Good timing. Uh... He, uh, spun instead of jumped. I'll take that. Why'd you start me back up there? <laughs> Fuck you, game. Where did that come from? Oh my god. <laughs> Good thing I'm getting one-ups. I don't really trust the game, the way the game throws all these one-ups at me, either. Like, it's nice, but they wouldn't just be nice to me. Okay, why am I fighting these guys? Don't fight. Let's not fight. What is the green liquid? Vortex magic. Alright.
Oh, those guys want to kill me so bad. Okay, I got 15 coins. Mercy, 15 old coins for a rolled pirate tail. Now where should I start? Ah, oh, yes, it is said that the natives worship a stone statue. The statue is a leak to their mountain god named Torque. Torque is a fierce god who takes no prisoners. It is said that he awaits the pirates who will save the land of Bear. Oops. Oh well. You heard him, folks. This, this is a clan that worships the monkeys. Uh, guitarist Peter Torque. He did play the guitar, right? I'm assuming he did. Like, if you're not the drummer, you play the guitar. And Mickey Dolans was the drummer, so... I'm not sure what Mike Nesmith did. He wore a hat. Still, wherever that ladder's coming from, they're still making it. Okay. What, what? Hmm. Is it this way? Was that there before? Goodbye. Um, okay. I would like to see what I unlocked here. But, uh... These starts are a little tricky. Uh, <sighs> Wouldn't let me crap back on. Okay, I'm sure this is totally worth it. Okay, the Vortex spell. Okay, Heart's good. I'll take that. Vortex spell is the same as the other two spells that made you invincible for a while and killed enemies. Seems like you've got a lot of spells that kind of do the same thing, huh? That is true. Mike Nesmith's mom invented liquid paper, and that's why he is the richest man in the universe. Crazy about how much. Alright, I got the food. God! <laughs> what the hell is this? Suddenly I have one life. After all the one-ups in that stage. <laughs> okay. I set off a trap that lasts forever. 
Oh, it's not letting me leave and stop the trap. That's cool. That's fine. I'm fine with that. I'll push the third button. Yeah. Oh, is this the thing? I need... Uh, is this the end of the stage? Grr! Who dares summon me from my sleep? Ah, what have we here? Just a small, insignificant pirate. What could you possibly want with the likes of Torque, the god of guitars? So, you carry the magical compass. You must be the one. Okay. I guess I don't have to fight him. <laughs> Your new level password is Scooby D. Jonda Town. Okay, I'm assuming this town is a level, not a place to talk to people. Where will the compass lead us this time? But let's wait until. No oh no! Why are you ignoring me? Please. I have really important information for you. You should not be out this late at night, young pirate. This is bad weather coming this way. I can feel it in my bones. What did you say you were looking for? I know him well after he does run the local tavern. He had me in the jetty bowl harbor. If you really want to find him, you must find the keys to gates, find the seas of mare, bestow luck upon you, shiver. Five dollars. Alright. Same technique as always. I've only got one life. Maybe I maybe I should yeah, whatever. Kick them bugs. In the face. Okay, gotta find the keys. Ow. That's one key. <laughs> Might need more than one light for this stage. Can't turn around while I'm ducking. Here, since I'm gonna lose all my stuff anyway. That doesn't seem to protect me from environmental hazards. That's good. I mean, why should it? Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do there? I don't know. He could have safely jumped over me if I had interfered. I suppose I could try the other characters. Man, they're hitting hard now. Makes it harder to just ignore them. I probably should still do that. Oh my.
are their noses coming out of the walls? <laughs> Not sure how I'm supposed to get around that. I really don't like the bouncing barrels slash rocks slash things. I really don't like those things. There's even more of them now. That's water. Uh, okay. Where exactly do I go? I thought I had to go up here to get the key, but maybe I have to go... Aha! Pressed. <laughs> ah, jeez. How am I getting hit with arrows when I'm clearly ducking under them? Oh, they can't duck and shoot. Come on. <laughs> That's unnecessary. Oh, I like the looks of this. I've been more eating your rival. I have free information that may interest you. Joe and Clapton boss. Oh, I our way. Hey, wait, there's if hey, come on, listen to me, please. I, I really have some interesting stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna go cry now. Again, I'm, I apologize if you're a fan of dark water, parts of dark water. I don't seem to be invested in whatever story this game has. Maybe this show's better. I mean, it'd probably be more entertaining in the form of like an actual animation and not just big walls of text. Probably would be better that way. Alright, I died. Uh, okay. I shouldn't have trouble remembering the password Scooby-D. I might off-camera 
um, go back and finish those stages I did before. It shouldn't take too long. So I can have those achievements and... Uh, okay, I'm gonna check and see. Um, 